Good morning! Look at that hair! Oh my goodness, there's someone here to see you! There's someone here to visit with you, baby! Do you want to go see? Do you want to go see who's here? Let's go see! Who's here? Let's go see who's here! Who's my girl? Look at that crazy hair! Look at that crazy hair! Look at that crazy hair! We're still waking up. Do we not want to walk yet? Oh, she's looking for her milk. I know. Who is that? come here. I got your bottle, babe. Here, show her the bottle and she'll come for sure. Oh, now we're so excited. Oh, go get it. Go get it. She says, Daddy usually has my bottle. It's my babe. Oh, okay. You gotta go lay down and drink Come here, babe. <laughs> up, 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 up. Oh, there's my girl. Oh, she <laughs> she's like, give me, me a bottle. Now. <gasps> there's my girl. Oh, are you gonna have Come grandma on, I know hold, you can hold it? hold it yourself. You're such a baby when she's here. You hold it like a big girl. Look at that hair. <laughs> I know, it's <laughs> you so see? funny. It's so funny. I love it. It's like, here we go. A mohawk almost. So when my mom bought her house in Texas, they bought it with the intention of moving in, coming back for like a day, and then they're moving out their friend who's an elderly woman who's gonna live, like move in with them in Texas. So they're moving her out. So she's here for like 12 hours. That's it, again, just like a super quick trip. She flew in last night, I picked her up at the airport, and she's here for like 12 hours just to help David and her are gonna be moving the old woman back to Texas with them. So they came to get all of her furniture and stuff. So she was like, can you pick me up and I'll spend the night and I have a couple hours with you guys. And I was like, of course. So I went and picked her up last night at the airport and we have a couple hours with her this morning. So she's gonna come to swim with us. We're gonna show her the house because she has not seen the house yet. And I don't know, oh, I'm sorry. Do you want some? You need to say, please. She's obsessed with these pouches. They're great for when we're in a rush in the morning. But we're gonna we're gonna get together and go to the house before swim because we um, don't really have a lot of time after she needs her nap. And I'm just so excited that she's here. Even though she's here for like 12 hours, it makes my week so much better. And it's kind of a surprise because I didn't know she was coming until like three days ago, like last, totally last minute, because they had to come get um, their friend's stuff and move it out, so. My mom's amazing, by the way. She's like taking care of this woman and moving her in with them and everything. Just, I just love her. <laughs> she needs help getting the last bits out, so she just shakes it. Also, that is not a pretty sight, Emma. We gotta get you cleaned up for swim. Are you ready to show how big of a girl you are at swim? You gonna eat your bar before we get in the car? Or do you need to finish that? <laughs> I think yeah. we might. Maybe we could save it and you can finish it at the house. Kisses. Oh my God! You are such a ham. Okay, so the last clip that you guys watched was actually a couple of days ago, but I wanted to put it in because I thought you guys would like to see my mom. She came to visit for literally that one day, and then after that we just spent some time together. I showed her the house, and do you want more? Ow. Ow. Can you say please? Please? I gotta teach this girl baby sign language. She's starting to say up when she wants up, which is so cute. But I brought her here and we showed her the house, we showed David, it was just so much fun. It was her first time seeing it. Um, I sent her a couple pictures, but this was her first time like seeing it and she loves it and so that was really fun. And now we are here today. We just finished up our first house project. I say we, but Justin did this. So this is like a, a threshold or a kick plate and it was this like brassy color that was the original one and we decided to do a black one because the other one was falling apart and this just looks so much nicer. Don't worry, it's okay. Um, it just looks 
so much nicer. I just got it all dirty though. That's okay. It's gonna get dirty. The next thing that we have to do that we're gonna maybe do today, I think, is replace this as like the weather stripping. It's really old as well and it needs to be replaced. So we were thinking of stopping at Lowe's after we came here and dropped off some stuff because, oh, let me show you the garage too. We've been bringing stuff over this week slowly. It's a madhouse. Look at this. Oh. So much stuff that we have to find a new home for. I mean, I literally don't even know where to begin. This is kind of terrifying. I did just completely fill up our fridge, and by completely fill up, I mean transfer over just the tiny little bit of food that we still have at the house. Like I said, we've been not going grocery shopping, so I transferred all that stuff over to the freezer and fridge, and then we'll definitely need to go grocery shopping in the first couple days here, like do a Costco run, do a Winco or Trader Joe's or whatever it is run, because we need food, right, Emma? We need furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, every, everything. We need everything. Emma's even on board with it. She's I mean, do you guys hear this echo? It's probably really annoying. <laughs> it's probably really loud. She's gonna have to Good learn job. that. I think you should, you should try having her hold on to the side. Like that way she can put her hand and step down or, or slide down on her butt. Even safer. <laughs> She's like, what are you trying to get me to do? I want you to... She's not doing it. No. We gotta side down on our butt. That's what so we gotta I'm just learn. You grabbing my hands and taking me downstairs. Here, put her like sitting on the step maybe, and then see if she can like scoot the rest of the way off. There. Okay, come on. Come on. Good. That's what we gotta learn to do. Okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Sit, turn, and scoot. Once we move in, we'll be in here all the time, and she'll pick it up super she quickly. Can go up real quick. Good job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're so proud. <laughs> okay, come on. Emma, come here. So now we have to go make a pit stop at Lowe's. So we're gonna get weather stripping. We are gonna get, I think this is the one we need. The black one? I think so. The, so we're gonna get weather stripping, we need light bulbs, screws, and what else was it? Was um, something else, light bulbs. I said that. You did? That was it? Okay. And then we need the bottom weather stripping too. So Justin's all excited. He loves coming here ever since we officially closed on the house because he just wants to be here. I'm gonna hang out here all day. All the time now. Get Oh, Emma. For. Okay, we need the bottom for the door thing. Door sweep? No, that's no. not it. We need like the bottom weather strip. This is the thing yeah. about Lowe's though. I get lost trying to find but everything. It needs to be short. This one's different. Oh, tiny, right tiny. Oh, so, no, no, that can't be right. Door, yeah. See, we're gonna have to ask for help. Okay, well they didn't have everything we needed in the right colors for a second. So we have to get some spray paint and hope that we can make it look the way that we wanted to because it's gonna be more of a project than we thought. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna update you guys on like how I'm feeling post transfer, but it's really, really loud in here. So I'll do that when we get back to the house because we're gonna go back right now. We might be meeting Justin's dad there to show him the place because he drove out this weekend to help us move, which was so nice. But I think I'll tell you guys when we get there. It's super loud in here, and I don't think everyone in Lowe's wants to hear about my pregnancy symptoms. <laughs> Did you just wake up from your first nap in your new bedroom? She just took her very first nap in her room. We set up the pack and play so we could get some work done here. And she just woke up. She did not nap very long because we had to start drilling. How was your nap? Okay, bye. We did get some of the project done. We weren't able to finish it, but we have lots of time to be able to finish those types of things. We had to wait for the um, spray paint to dry and then we'll be good. So I'm gonna hang out in here for a minute before we go and give you guys an update on how I've been feeling because I haven't really talked about it and I feel bad because a lot of people are asking for a transfer update and so here it is. I honestly was worried because four days after the transfer I didn't feel any 
like symptoms, but I know that every transfer is different, every pregnancy is different. A lot of you guys were telling me that. Um, but with Emma, when I transferred, I had nausea day four, five, six, and I think et cetera. I went back and watched like a lot of my videos. And so I was just kind of like, not sure what to think. And then around day four, five, six, there was days. I'm day seven past it now. It's been a week since the transfer. And now I've had days where I have had some nausea, but it's never been long lasting. It's just <laughs> been like moments where I smell something that doesn't sit well with my stomach and I just start gagging. Like this morning I was sitting downstairs on the dining room rug and I just smelled something I didn't like. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and I started gagging and so Justin was like, you're pregnant and I, I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm just sensitive right now because of all the, the meds and everything. You just never know. But I mean, it could be first pregnancy symptoms. With Emma, I did get it. I haven't been overly tired. I have only had like random nausea and then the other thing which is really weird is like <laughs> TMI but like some gas, like burping. I've been burping constantly. Like I don't know what that's about. I've just been like, finding myself pretty gassy in that sense. Um, but that could just be that I'm weird and I'm having a gassy week, I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm really not sure to think. I don't really know how to feel like going into the test. I think it could go either way. I think I don't like bet one way or the other. If I had never felt that nausea, I probably would have bet that it didn't work. But then I had those random moments of feeling nauseous. So not like throwing up, just like gagging, like out of smell or whatever. I just don't know. They could be the first pregnancy symptoms and they could just be side effects from all these hormones and drugs that I'm on, which is always a possibility. So we will find out in a little less than a week what, if the transfer worked. <laughs> and I've just been trying to keep busy. As you guys know, we have had a lot going on, so it's been pretty easy to not think about it. Um, but I don't know, I don't know. You guys can like leave me your comments down below, obviously, of what you think but um, we'll find out in less than a week. And I'm really excited to find out because right now I can't help with like anything like moving, like heavy weights and uh, we're moving. So that kind of sucks, I feel useless. And so if, if it's negative, I'll at least be able to kind of help. And if it's not, I'll have a reason for not being able to lift. Like right now I feel just useless, but if I'm pregnant, I'll be like, I'm pregnant. Like obviously you shouldn't be. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but I just feel kind of like a useless little person right now, not being able to lift anything. All right, we gotta go clean up all your toys because tomorrow is moving day and we have all of your toys everywhere from playing. We gotta clean them all up. Can you help? This is the current situation. It is what, nine o'clock at night? Yeah. Emma is asleep and we are- just got home. Yeah, we literally just got home. And we are attempting to dismember this. Nice butt, by the way. <laughs> your, uh, your shorts are shaping your butt. <laughs> um, we're attempting to take apart our bed. That way tomorrow on moving day, it goes a lot smoother. We have a little helper. I keep on calling him a groundhog because he keeps popping up from little hole to little hole just to check <laughs> in and, so see, funny, and see what's he going loves on. This. He thinks yeah, it's fun. is this your bed? <laughs> yeah, you're so excited. We're gonna see if we can take this apart tonight and push it to the side and just sleep on a mattress on the floor. <laughs> Only one finger hurt in the process, and okay? we, I, uh, I'm fine. I'm I just. Sorry. We still have so much more to do and I'm so tired. It's like 9.45. I could fall asleep right here and think I'm so tired. Been We've been, We've been on our feet all day. I have a blood blister She's probably going. forming on my hand. Like, I just want to sleep and we still have to clean out this dresser. And I have to clean out my closet, cleaning out my closet, all the drawers, all the clothes, on the hangers. And then I have a huge thing of dirty laundry, which I either have to wash here and take over clean or just take it over dirty which I'm considering and then just washing it at the new house because if I wash it here 
and shove it in trash bags, it's gonna get all wrinkly. I'm so tired and I don't know why I'm so exhausted because I really didn't do too much today. I just feel like I was on my feet all day. Like we didn't rest at all today. We were go, go, go like since what, 12, not even before 12. So I'm exhausted. I think I'm gonna not make it. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna You're die. gonna make it? I'm not You're gonna done? make it. You're gonna have to go on without me. All right, babe. I'm gonna leave you behind. <laughs> Justin is convinced that I'm pregnant. Yeah, you're pregnant. That's why you're so tired. That's why you've been <laughs> nauseous. That's why you've been gagging. I haven't been nauseous as much as I've just been gagging at certain smells. You're got, smelling things that I'm not smelling. We got in the car tonight and we left Emma's swim towel in the car from swim this morning and it smelled like mildew in the car after our like party thing we had to go to tonight and i just got in the car and i was like bleh, bleh. sorry i feel like gagging but i just started gagging like i wasn't gonna throw up i was just gagging at the smell and then once we rolled the windows down it was fine and i was like i just think it's the meds and justin was like no you're definitely perfect. hope i am i don't want to argue with you and say no i'm not because i don't want to send not that smelling the things that you are and you weren't gagging like this when you first started taking your meds. Well, you just did smell it. You just didn't smell it as strongly as I No, I could hardly smell what you were smelling until you mildew? explained it. If you didn't say anything, I wanted to smell it. All I know is I have no idea and I'm tired and I don't want to clean out this stupid dresser right now. I'm gonna end this. I still have to edit this vlog tonight. And then we are moving at like 6 to 7 a.m. So I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm, one, I'm only laughing because is funny it's easier to play it off as like i'm exhausted I'm delirious exhausted but we are saying goodbye to this house we'll probably be in here like a couple more not sleeping here but like getting but stuff out getting stuff. But yeah tonight is the last night we're sleeping in this house yeah i think so that's crazy i, so. I want you guys to be here with us on this last moment <laughs> tonight is the last <laughs> night in this house we've been here for four over four years now four yeah. years in a month been a good run. It's gonna be an interesting change and for Bo too. He's a okay, little bit um, he's a little bit confused leave. right now, like he does he not know. Leave. You know? So we will talk to you guys again tomorrow on moving day. Moving day! Good night. Good night.